functional equations given that f of x squared plus 6x equals x plus 9 and uh, let's find f of x so to solve this i'm going to apply the two different approach and see which one is much more effective to solve this let's consider the solution from here suppose i let x squared plus 6x equals t So having these expressions, we want to make x the subject of the formula. But here we are giving x squared and x. If you have to factor out x, we still have x here. And after dividing it, we have not yet make this uh, the subject because x will still be at this side. So what we do is, suppose I add 9 to both sides. So this is more of taking the completing the square root. So by adding 9 to both sides, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals t plus 9. Then for x squared plus 6x plus 9, if I write it as x squared plus 6x plus 3 squared, equals t plus 9 where the whole of this expression x squared plus 6x plus 3 squared is given as x plus 3 squared when we expand x plus 3 squared we get this and everything equals t plus 9 from here, let's take the square root of both sides. By taking the square root of here, we have x plus 3 squared equals the other side takes plus and minus. Then square root t plus 9. When this square and square root cancelled, we have x plus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of t plus 9. Let's take 3 to other sides. Or let's say we just subtract 3 from both sides. As we have x equals minus 3 plus or minus the square root of t plus 9. This is what we have at this stage. We have make x the subject of the formula without appearing at the other side here unlike the first approach I wanted to use now after getting this let's take this one substitute it into the original function as the function says f of x squared plus 6x equals x plus 9 but x squared plus 6x we have denoted it to be t as we have f of t equals and why our x here is given as minus 3 plus or minus the square root of t plus 9 this is for only x then plus 9 By proceeding, we have f of t equals, here is minus 3 plus 9. That gives us 6. Plus or minus the square root of t plus 9. So we have successfully make f of t here. Let's change t to x. By changing t to x, we have f of x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of x plus 9. This is what we have at this stage. But the value of x here is 
greater than or equal to minus 9. So, that is, the values like minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, they satisfy this. But any values that is less than that, such as minus 10, minus 11, all of them, they are not part of this domain X. So, this is the condition for X at this function. But the first one, there is no restriction to that. As any value we plug in, we get the result. This is how to solve this. Thanks for watching. And uh, let's see the second method of solving this.